All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about trigonometric ratio of acute angle. Trigonometric ratio of acute angle. Now, let's go. Let's consider any triangle ABC. Let's take a look at this triangle ABC. Okay? And then we have our angle theta. Then you can see clearly that this triangle is a right angle triangle, right? Good. And then let's say that a line AB is equal to Y. And then line BC is equal to X. And then line AC is equal to R. And then the R is greater than 0. The R is greater than 0. Now let's go, you know. Let's make use of so katwa. All right. Now, when you say sine theta, you know we have our theta here, right? And when you say sine theta, what is it? You know, sine theta will give you opposite all over hypotenuse. And then in this our triangle, we have our opposite to be what y all over our hypotenuse to be what r. Okay. Yes, we have sine theta equal to y all over r is that true yes now let's go let's say cos theta cos theta will give you adjacent all over hypotenuse okay so our adjacent here is x all over our hypotenuse is r so we say cos theta is equal to x all over r and then let's go we say tan theta tan theta is opposite all over adjacent so our opposite here is y all over adjacent is x. Okay, so we say tan theta is equal to y all over x. All right, good. Now let's consider cosec theta. Cosec theta simply means the inverse of sine theta. And then we have sine theta to be y all over r. So the inverse of it will give you r all over y. Is that true? So that means we say cosec theta is equal to r all over y. Let's also consider cosec theta. So you see that cosec theta is the inverse of cos theta. And then cos theta is x all over r. So the inverse of it is going to give you r all over x. All right? Good. Let's also consider cot theta. And then cot theta is the inverse of tan theta. And then in this place, we have our tan theta to be y all over x. That means our cot theta, which is the inverse of tan theta, is going to give us x all over y. Is that true? Yes. Now, let's go. Let's also find sine squared theta. Okay? Let's take the square of it. So, sine squared theta is going to give us y squared all over r squared. Is that true? Sine squared theta is going to give us y squared all over r squared and then when you say cos squared theta cos squared theta will give us x squared all over r squared is that true yes then tan squared theta tan squared theta is going to give us y squared all over x squared now cosec squared theta cosec squared theta is going to give us r squared all over y squared and then sec squared theta so square theta is going to give us r squared all over x squared. And then cot squared theta. Cot squared theta is going to give us x squared all over y squared. All right? Good. Now, please, pay attention to this level. Okay? Pay attention. I want you to know exactly these values. Pay attention. Okay? Now, let's go. According to Pythagoras' theorem, we see that hypotenuse squared is equal to adjacent squared plus opposite squared. Is that true? Yes. According to Pythagoras theorem, we say that hypotenuse squared is equal to adjacent squared plus opposite squared. Now, our hypotenuse is what? R. So that means R squared is equal to our adjacent is what? Is X squared plus our opposite is y squared all right yes that means r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared is that true yes in this place 
I want us to divide true by r squared. You know, when you have an expression and you divide it by the same number, divide both sides and everything by the same number, it remains the same. Okay? Now let's go. Let's divide true by r squared. That means we're going to have r squared divided by r squared is equal to s squared divided by r squared plus y squared divided by r squared. Is that true? Yes. Now r squared all over r squared is equal to what? 1. Is that true? Yes. Now we have s squared all over r squared. What is x squared all over r squared? Let's look at these uh, values we just obtained. In that place, where can you see or what can you say that x squared all over r squared is? Now you can see clearly that cos squared theta is x squared all over r squared. That means we're going to say 1 is equal to cos squared theta plus. Now let's also check again. What can we say that y squared all over r squared is? Now we also see that y squared all over r squared is equal to what? Sine squared theta. So we can simply say that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Hello. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Hmm? Now from here, we can make sine squared theta the subject so when you make sine squared theta the subject you're going to have sine squared theta is equal to one minus cos squared theta also you can make cos squared theta the subject then we're going to have cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta is that true yes now let's also go again we have r squared is equal to s squared plus y squared in this case, now let's divide true by x squared. So that means we're going to have r squared all over x squared is equal to s squared all over x squared plus y squared all over x squared. Okay, now let's also check what do we say that r squared all over s squared is. When you look closely, you discover that sec squared theta is equal to r squared all over x squared is that true yes now let's go s squared divided by x squared is equal to one then y squared all over s squared what is it you can see that it is tan squared theta is that true yes you can see that sec squared theta is equal to one plus tan squared theta is that true yes okay from this place you can also transform this formula then you can say that sec squared theta minus tan squared theta is equal to 1. Is that true? Yes. And then you can also make tan squared theta the subject. So when you do so, you're going to have tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta minus 1. All right? Good. Let's go again. We have r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. In this case now, let's divide through by y squared so this we're going to have r squared all over y squared is equal to x squared all over y squared plus y squared all over y squared now let's check what is the value for r squared all over y squared we can see that it is cosec squared theta okay then we say cosec squared theta is equal to now let's go what is the value for x squared all over y squared? Now we can see that it is cot squared theta. Okay? Yes. Then we have plus y squared all over y squared is equal to 1. That means you can say that cosec squared theta is equal to cot squared theta plus 1. From this place, you can transform this formula or this expression to cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta is equal to 1. Here you can make cot squared theta the subject. Then we're going to have cot squared theta is equal to cosec squared theta minus 1. All right? Yes. Thank you very much for watching, please. If you are new to our channel, please do us a favor and click 
the subscribe button please like and share our videos thank you for watching see you next time